types of variations. There are two types of variations. Direct variation, inverse, indirect variation. Direct variation. Let us consider an example. Look at the table given on screen. Suppose X is the number of books and Y is their weight. As we can see, X by Y in the given table is always 2 by 1. This is another example of a direct variation. Thus, two quantities X and Y are set to vary directly if X by Y is constant. The ratio X by Y is equal to K is said to be constant of variation. Some important points to be noted are 1. The ratio X by Y is always positive. 2. Y increases when X increases. 3. Y decreases when X decreases. Now by using direct variation rule, let us discuss an example. A piece of string is cut into two parts in the ratio 2 is to 3. If the length of the shorter piece is 18 cm, find the length of the longer piece. Suppose the longer piece measures x cm. We write the given information in the table as shown on screen. It is a case of direct variation, so the ratio is constant. Therefore, 2 by 18 is equal to 3 by x. Using cross multiplication we get or 2 into x is equal to 3 into 18. Therefore, x is equal to 3 into 18 by 2 is equal to 27. Hence, length of the longer piece is 27 centimeter. Let us now learn about inverse or indirect variation. Look at the table given on screen which depicts the time taken by a car to travel a certain distance at different speeds. When speed increases, time decreases. When speed is doubled, time is halved. In general, if x is speed and y is time taken, then xy is constant. This is an example of inverse indirect variation. Thus, two quantities, x and y, are set to vary inversely indirectly if the product xy remains constant. The product xy is equal to k, say, is called constant of variation and it is always positive. Now by using indirect variation rule, let us discuss an example. Suppose a family of six persons has enough food for 18 days. After three days, one person goes out of station. Let us find out how long will the remaining foods last now. The food has already been used for 3 days. The remaining days are 15 and the persons will be only 5. Let the remaining food last for x days. We write the given information in the table as shown on screen. Less persons implies more days. It is a case of indirect variation. So the product of persons and days is constant. Therefore, 5 into x is equal to 6 into 15 or x is equal to 6 into 15 by 5 is equal to 18. Hence, the food will last for 18 more days. 